Hey guys, it's Scooby. Okay, so I am co-owner of Hippie Kids. Um, my sister and I started the brand together. Um, I was trying to video this without my dog barking. <laughs> um, one second. Um, okay, so I wanted to make a video really quickly. Um, I have so many brands that like reach out to me, um, friends, people that I don't even know, just connecting through um, social media. Um, and they're asking like business advice and I love talking business. Like I could talk all day with people. Um, I love, it's just fun for me. I've always been very interested in business. Um, but I have a two year old or a three year old now, so <laughs> I don't have all the time to type. Um, and I want to be able to help other people because I know at first, especially starting a business, it's kind of like tricky. There's so much out there and it's like, which way do you go? Um, and I've spent like hours researching stuff and then like a lot of trial and error and figuring it out for myself. Um, but if I can help someone else, like I'd love to. Um, so I'm going to start like a little business series kind of deal. Um, but yeah, today's topic to kind of jump into that is going to be, um, oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm also like running back and forth between checking out my son and talking. So there you go. Okay, so I wanted to, the first topic to be um, community over competition. So you guys have probably heard that before, but that really, um, I don't know, like resonates a lot with me. And um, I've always been this way. Like I am so happy for any of my friends if they're succeeding in life and like that makes me happy. And that's just how I was raised. And um, I don't know, like I think it's exciting if someone is doing good, you should be happy for them. And I think if you're not, you're hindering your own blessings. Um, so that is something super important to me. Um, just believing that. And um, I really do believe that God has something for everyone. So like there is so much like competition out there and like so many people are creative and so many um, people have something going. And then there's like the big companies that you watch and you're like, wow, like, you know, that's pretty cool and exciting and all that stuff. So it can get overwhelming and yes like thoughts do creep in like okay is my stuff even like good enough like am I good enough like should I even be doing is this what God has for me all this stuff all these thoughts come in and I really do believe like honestly we've seen our business grow the more we collaborate um with other people so as you lift other people up you're also going to be lifted up so I'm very like big about that and there's really like it is hard I know to like not like worry about like oh my gosh like they're gonna be better than I am or something like that but literally like everyone is unique has their own uh style vision and they're gonna bring something different to the table um it could be similar but like literally like as cheesy as it is like every snowflake is different every person fingerprint is different and I do believe God has something different planned and blessings for everyone and there's room for everyone. Okay. So, um, <laughs> that is what I think is like so important, um, to like kind of wrap your head around, like as a business owner, I think that is because when you're starting out, you're looking, you're like, um, I don't know. We, when we started out, there was really no one really doing what we were doing. Um, especially like in our close knit of friends, of course, there's like bigger businesses doing that, that we looked up to and all that. Um, and now as like we're getting older, obviously more people are exploring. Um, I'm so out of breath. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, and I talk a lot. But basically what I'm saying is it's easy to look at other people. And you just need to be like focused on your own thing and excited for other people. Because in reality, like, you know, if you're busy focusing on what other people are doing, your own, you're literally hindering yourself. So um, just keep lifting up others. Um, and yeah, like the more you show up for your business and, uh, the more that you're uh, consistent with your business, you're going to see growth. Okay. And with that, so obviously community over competition, uh, Kissy and I are opening our first storefront. So, um, as opening a storefront, we're like, even when you're like kind of looking into stuff, you're supposed to check out your competition and and all that kind of deal. Um, but in for us, we're off of a cute main street. I think it's so cool, like, I don't know. 
like the more cool stuff around us the like more interesting it is going to be to shop there so i think it is like kind of cool and important to have almost like a shopping destination like all right you're gonna come check out hippie kids where are you gonna go next like make a day of it um there's like this place that's local to us it's called the avenues and it's basically like an outdoor shopping mall but like you go inside too but it's basically like this big like circle half circle i don't know what i'm trying to say it's really cool it's an outdoor shopping mall anyways um, it has so many shops and like literally my parents used to like drop us off and we'd be there like all day. Um, and that's what I would do with my friends and it was so much fun. Um, so we're so excited. We picked the location that we're at because we're excited what's around us. Um, because we do think that's going to make people gravitate towards us. So yeah, like do not be scared of, I guess, what's around you, what what's going on. Be excited for people. Um uplift people and support them, encourage them, never be jealous of someone, never, um, because that's not going to get you anywhere, right? Um, so just be positive and encourage others because it's just only going to bring more blessings your way, I promise, because um, we have seen that in our own business and our own business model. But yeah, love you guys. Check us out. Um, and I'm wearing our new Hippie Kids um sweatshirt and it comes as a set like you can get it just the crew neck or the set with the shorts but yeah peace y'all have a good one sorry i was out of breath but yeah i'm gonna do more of these it'll be fun okay i wanted to add this in here um why i think it's so important to just cheer on other people one you have no idea what they're going through um uh, my parents um, minister to a lot of people, and so we've seen so much like firsthand of people literally struggling um and they counsel people and all that kind of stuff. So like, we've literally seen people like hit rock bottom, go through like the hardest times, um, things that like you would never wish upon someone else and you wanna see them make it through that. Um, and like all different kinds of walks of life. Um, and so I guess it's just like something that's been instilled in us and that we've seen people literally at their lowest points in their life, um, going through drug addiction, sex trafficking, um, being homeless, so many different things, mental illnesses, um, struggling with who they are, that it's like, why would you ever wish something bad, like, on someone? So, that's just like, I want everyone to succeed in life, um, I want good things to happen to people, so that's just something that, like, I felt like I needed to share, like, if you look at it in that perspective, um like if your friends are getting engaged and you're not at that point in life like you should still be happy for them like god's got someone amazing and something uh, like a plan that you just don't even know yet okay oh <laughs> y'all my hand i use hand sanitizer and put it on my uh wheel and then um my wheel basically came off on my hand so that's what that is <laughs> sorry but basically what i'm saying is like um like for example for me like we had our son Judah, he was unplanned, and, like, he's been, like, the biggest blessing of my life, and I never saw him coming, like, you know what I mean, um, just never had that plan yet, I mean, down the road I did, and, like, I could never imagine my life without him, so just wish for the best for people, like, you know, pray for other people, and I think you will see change in your own life if you start looking that way.